And welcome into this episode of Crazes Corner. I'm here with Will, and we're going to be ranking five wide receivers that you may have on your team. Uh, you may not have them on your team, but they're kind of guys that I think are interesting. That will definitely be some debate as to where we rank these guys. Or we have the wide receiver seven on the season, wide receiver nine, ten, uh, and wide receiver twenty-eight. So looking at this, we have Cortland Sutton, currently the wide receiver seven. He's had five straight games with 11-plus points and half-point PPR. He's had eight or more targets uh, in those games and has three top ten finishes out of his last five games. It's been consistent. We have the wide receiver nine, Zay Flowers. We have the Wide receiver 10 in JSN, who's on another tear, three straight games of 16-plus points, six-plus targets over the past 10 weeks, or six-plus targets <laughs> over the past 10 weeks, and three of those games were over 10. Uh, we got Jaden Reed, who is the wide receiver 11. Both him and Zay Flowers only have five top 30 finishes all season which is a little bit concerning, but they still are top 12 wide receivers. And then we got the wide receiver 28, Tyreek Hill, who only has one finish in the top 20 since week two. So, Will, we definitely got some things to talk about here. We talked a little bit before the show. We both agreed about the top two players. We just have them in a different order. So we got Tyreek Hill and Cortland Sutton. In my opinion, I like Cortland Sutton. Rest of season better than Tyreek Hill. You prefer Tyreek Hill. As I said, I like the fact that we've seen the improvement from Bo Nix. And to me, Cortland Sutton's kind of come on. Cortland Sutton is his guy. Like I said, he's had eight or more targets over the past few weeks. He's had 11 straight fantasy points. And he's had three top 10 finishes. So for me, that's enough to feel confident starting him definitely every week. Uh, and just to me, with Tyreek Hill's inconsistencies, he's still dealing with the wrist injury. I don't know if that's what's hampering his play. Jalen Waddle looked great last week, but Tyreek Hill just hasn't been able to have you know, that big game. He's not been making those massive plays we're used to seeing. I own him in multiple leagues, so I really hope he can turn this around and prove you right. But why is Tyreek Hill number one for you? This time of year, it's all about weather sometimes. And I look at that schedule. So they play tomorrow night in Green Bay, and I'm not sure how bad the weather's going to be. I hadn't looked. Um, but then they're home for the Jets. Then they're at the Texans. And then they're home for the 49ers. Now, the thing that does scare me in that championship week, they're at Cleveland. Um, so, but, you know, if you're trying to get through the playoffs, I think that schedule, and as long as Tua, that's a big if. If Tua gets hurt, then I might drop Tyreek to the bottom of this list. Um, but right now, looking at this, like, yeah, I, I just think they're 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 playing better. They're getting their momentum going. They they are still in the fight for the playoffs. Um, Tyreek's, you know, he's hungry. I think he wants to get to the playoffs, so I think he's going to play well every week. Uh, so we'll what in those ticket charges got dropped this week, right? Uh, yeah, all that in the news, so he doesn't have that hanging over him anymore. Yeah, so yeah, I, the, the officer, officer didn't, didn't, show up. Show, didn't show up. Okay, that was convenient. Um, but good for him, uh, yeah. you know. And so he, um, he just, just like maybe he's gonna peak at the right time for fantasy owners. Yeah, he, he's definitely the best wide receiver on this list. Uh, I'm hopeful that he can turn it around. It's just been painful, me putting him in the low lineup, and then he gets like seven points. He's that owner bias, right? If you didn't own either one of them on your teams, you might be like, ah. I have I have both of them in a redraft league, and mm -hmm. right now Tyreek Hill is sitting on my bench, and Corlin mm -hmm. Sutton's in my lineup for this week. We'll see how that stays. I might take somebody else out of the lineup and put Tyreek Hill in, but it's just painful that he hasn't been who we thought he should be. Yeah. This year, but I think it's definitely the wrist injury that's not helping him out. So next, we have three guys. We're all grouped together, wide receiver 9, 10, and 11. To me, I prefer JSN over Jaden Reed and Zay Flowers. I don't know if you feel yeah. the same. Oh, yeah. 
by far. Yeah. Yeah, so our third here is JSN. He is the wide receiver. He's, he's closer to the top two than – honestly, I think there's like the top two, JSN. him, and then the next two. Yeah. I like For me, JSN coming off of three straight 16-plus games, yeah. he's had uh, over 10 targets in three games uh, yeah. so far. So I think he's on an ascending track. We all knew the talent he was coming out of school. It's just taken him yeah. this long to really get himself acclimated to the offense. DK Metcalf is back. So I don't expect him to, you know, continue putting up 16 points every week. Uh, but yeah. he's proven himself to be an integral part of this offense. To me, he's taken over that wide receiver two role uh, from Tyree Kill. So I like JSN uh, rest of season, not as much as the other two, but I definitely, for me, he's a clear third. Uh, and as the wide receiver 10 on the season, I think he's overperforming what everyone thought coming into the year. Uh, and he's really he's really shown, you know, again what we thought he was. Uh, so you, you feel the same way there? Oh yeah, I, I yeah I like Jason. I if if the dynamic of their season was a little different, I could see bumping him up in to maybe one in front of one of the other two. But based on where we are right now, what we've seen and Metcalf coming back, you know, he, I think he's where in that list he's where he should be. Yeah, I agree. Like I said, he's not quite the other guys for me. If maybe DK Metcalf uh, wasn't there and he was the true wide receiver one for this team, uh, I could see it being different. But he's really elevated uh, his snap share. He's up to, you know, almost high 80s for most of the weeks. Yeah. Had a down week last week. But they are in the playoff race, and they have some big games coming up. The Jets, the Cardinals, the Packers the Vikings, the Bears. So some of those are tough matchups, but they're matchups where the Seahawks are going to have to be throwing the ball if they want to stay competitive. And then I'm, I'm really curious to see which way you rank Jaden Reed and Zay Flowers. Because to me, they're almost the same player uh, when it comes to being inconsistent. You don't yeah. really know what you're going to get week in, week out. Will they score? Yeah. Will they not score is really what it comes down to. Essentially, like Jalen Naylor – uh, who we talked about in the previous show, so you can go check that yeah. out if you want. But if they don't score, uh, their volume just yeah. isn't there. So which one do you prefer, Reed or Flowers? Off the top of my head, Flowers. But I almost regret saying it because I could see Baltimore really anchoring more and more on the run. I, You know, it's, just, it's something about their passing game that they just can't consistently put the numbers up mm -hmm. from their wide receivers. It just I'm I got Bateman in a lot of my leagues. And you know I have one good week and then it's it just disappears. But then you yeah. know I look at Green Bay and you know I think it's like you said the whole the teams are almost mirrors of each other in some ways, right? Maybe I'm a little bit more moved to the running game. Um love Sometimes he's inconsistent and does stupid, stupid things in the red zone, especially, right? And so, you know, you're you're looking and it's it's a, that's a hard conversation. But I think maybe you hit it on the nail on the head, Zach. It's they're the same. They're the same player. Yeah, that that's the way I feel. They're kind of the same player. For me, looking at rest of season, I would pick Jaden Reed just because Zay Flowers buys week fourteen. So you just yeah. don't get him for a game, and that's really the yeah. only – that's pretty much the only difference in my opinion. Yeah. I also think he maybe has a little bit easier of a schedule. Zay Flowers has to play Philly, uh, the Giants, which teams don't normally throw against because they can just run all over them. He has to play Pittsburgh, uh, which is not going to be an easy game for them. So there's a little bit tougher of a matchup as opposed to looking at Green Bay. They obviously played the Dolphins uh, on Thanksgiving night. Uh, and then they play Detroit, who teams have been throwing against a lot. They play Seattle, uh, New Orleans, and Minnesota, uh, who yeah. have both been giving up lots of points. So I think it's really just the bye week for me. Give me Jaden Reed. And I guess Zay Flowers, who is currently the second highest on the season out of these five guys, comes at the end. They said they both only had five top 30 finishes on a week so far this season and they both found themselves inside the top 12. So when they boom, they really do have a big week. But for me, yeah, I think I'm not comfortable running at either of these guys. 
the the one thing I, I'll get, like you said the so the balance with Flowers losing him that one week in the bye, but I do like that matchup in the championship week against you know, Houston. At, the, at yeah, at the Texans, yeah, that's that sounds like a game where you could see him. Like if you make it to that point, all yeah. of a sudden you put the two make touchdowns. Make it to that point with him on your right. bench. That's right, and then you put him in, he gives you two touchdowns, and he wins. He's your uh, MVP for that game, and so yeah, yeah it's. It's if I had either one, I'd be happy with it. I'm a you know situational play or even starter. I'd be okay with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I said, these these guys are all outside of Tyreek Hill, top twelve wide receivers on the season so far. Obviously, Tyreek Hill is still the best of the four or five. Yeah. Uh, so there we go. We've gone through. We've ranked these five wide receivers based on our opinion. Rest of season. Hopefully, you guys can you know use this advice. You can comment down below your rankings. Uh, which guys you think are the best of the five. Uh, and let us know your take. Would you rather have Tyree Kill, Corden Sutton, JSN, Jaden Reed, or Zay Flowers? Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again, Will, for joining me as always. See you again next week. All right, Zach. I hope you get to enjoy some American Thanksgiving football. <laughs> <laughs> All right.